Good morning. Welcome to Joplin Variety Show Mindful Mondays. I am your host today, Melanie Lyons, your new program director. And I wanted to say good morning and happy Monday. We have lots of exciting things coming up in the month of April at the Jocelyn Center. We have a matter of balance, a senior uh, self-defense, personal protection class, uh, and we are still taking signups for chair yoga, balance conditioning, and an interest list for art. Um, we also are going, we also changed our social chat group a little bit to be able to include those that are homebound because it's so vitally important to be able to talk to people and to be able to communicate um, to one another, even if we are stuck at home. And there are lots of people that are um, experience this on a regular basis. And if you can create a group to where um, everyone can speak and, and get some socialization in their day, um, that's even better. So that is our Monday morning update. And now I want to introduce our wonderful Elise. <laughs> Good morning, Elise. How are you? I'm happy to be here with you. How are you? I am excited. This is my first solo Mindful Monday. And we're um, celebrating that. <laughs> yes, yes, and I'm really excited um, to see what we're going to be covering. I actually just watched a TED Talk um, oh. by uh, Richard J. Davidson. And he went um, on about mindfulness and the importance of mindfulness. And he said the average American spends 47% of their time not paying attention <laughs> to what they're doing. And yeah. I can't believe that. I mean, I guess because all of the accidents and stuff you see with vehicles, but 47%, that's a long time, right? Yeah. That's <laughs> why we talk about mindfulness. It's pretty amazing. And how did we end up that way? I don't think we're, that all cultures are that way, but certainly in our culture, we've gotten so busy and productive and with all the um, technological advances, we do so much and we don't pay attention to a lot. Oh yeah, that's very true. But that's like half the time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> really? So I will go ahead and leave you with the least for Mindful Monday. Thank you. Hi, everybody. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Before we do anything, I want to, because I work at the Wellness Center here at Jocelyn, I want to tell you about our programs. And I specifically, um, Aging Mastery Program, I would like you to consider signing up for it. Do it for me, no, do it for you. But I would like you to think about it. It's a wonderful program. I know I've talked about it before. It's all these chapters that are important for us as we age, um, like relationships, finances, um, exercise, all that good stuff and more. There's 10 of them. There's 10 of them. They happen twice a week. It's only an hour and a half each Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 2.30. The next one I would like you to try to sign up for is most likely going to be starting May 11th. Please give it some thought. And then we have Brain Boot Camp, which we suddenly, I just found out, have a couple of openings for the one that starts this Wednesday. And then it's just, that's just two weeks, not 10. That's um, a Wednesday this week and a Wednesday the next week. And that goes from one to three. A very fun group, brain health, memory, please try it. The other thing is we have a group 
forming. It's a grief recovery group. And I know in this day and age, well, we all have losses in life, but especially in this day and age, if you have lost even a, per a person, certainly somebody important to you, a pet, but also the loss of the way of life pre-COVID. That's really a loss. The way we took all the things we took for granted and cannot take for granted anymore, that's a loss. So please call um, Veronica to sign up for any of the things I just mentioned. And it's 340-3220. She is extension 117. And the only other thing about programming is our PSS, problem solving strategies. Uh, that's for a specific issue that you may want to uh, help solve and that you may want to explore. Okay, thank you for listening to that. Now, um, we're going to do breathing and moving. And I've decided even though if I stand up, you won't see my face, that's okay, because I would like to move because I need to move. So let's do whatever kind of movement we can and take a deep breath in through the nose. Uh, out through the mouth. Uh, in through the nose. Uh, out through the mouth. One more. In through the nose. Uh, out through the mouth. Good way to start. So I want to just review a list of our recent topics. One was the low hanging fruit, the concept of doing what's easiest to get you going. It's most useful when you're resisting doing something. The crucial importance of movement and of fighting isolation. Self-care. We talked about looking with kindly eyes at both ourselves and others. Um, now, the whole more specifically on mindfulness, meditation, and meditation, we don't do it to become a good meditator. We do it to practice becoming awake to the present moment, which was exactly what um, Melanie was just saying, how that is a pretty amazing number that we literally spend half our time not paying attention to what we're doing. And that is amazing. Um, so we meditate to practice being awake to this present moment. Awareness is very important, especially breath awareness. <laughs> Breathing. Oh, and that's something else that I didn't mention about meditation when your mind wanders. You can name what's going on in your mind. So if you're breathing, you can, if you want to say, breathing. But then if you're thinking about dinner, you can say, oh, that's planning. And pl that's planning. Let's go back to breathing. So let's see, breath awareness, accepting whatever is going on without judgment. And here's a good twist. If you cannot accept what's going on, especially during meditation, without judging it, if you have to say, oh, I'm not doing well at this, well, then just accept the fact that you're judging it and don't judge your judgment. <laughs> don't uh, make it worse. Just accept whatever it is. Um, and the precise moment of mindfulness is when you're, if you're meditating or even if you're not meditating and you're doing something and you're paying attention, if you're breathing during meditation and then you find yourself thinking about other things. The precise moment of mindfulness is when we realize that and we say, oh, wait a minute, I'm not focusing on my breathing. Let's go back to breathing. Or if you're washing the dishes and you're thinking about something that you want to have happen or that you're worried about or sorry that you did, say, wait a minute, I need to focus on getting the egg yolk off this plate because that's what you're doing in that moment. Um, let's see. Right. It's when we uh, lose the focus of what we intend to be doing. 
All right. And the idea, of course, is to not just do it during meditation, is to put that whole frame on our lives of being in this moment. Now, this moment, this moment, and observing and seeing what is in this moment and doing what I intend to do in this moment. Okay, how are you doing with your main job in life, which is self-care? If you are doing things to care for yourself and you know it, you should really applaud yourself right now. It's a big deal. And I will go on record as saying, I need to improve my diet and exercise. And that's all I'm gonna say right now, but saying it, to you, to anybody. When we say things, it becomes um, more of a focus and easier to work on. Same thing about writing it down. If you write that my goal is whatever, it's much more likely to happen. Breathing and moving, we've talked about how important that is. Fighting isolation, increasing movement. I wonder if anyone has looked on public TV at Miranda Esmond White's 5.30 a.m. class, Classical Stretch by Eccentrics. It's, um, I do it when I, when I get up, if I, if I get up that early. Now, are you getting things done? What have you accomplished this past week? And in the spirit of saying things out loud and writing them down, if you can and if you want to, I'd like you to enter it into the chat right now, as we are speaking, what did you get done this week that even no matter how small, that makes you feel good, that you can sort of do a check mark. And somewhat back to mindfulness is how are you doing with feeling more centered or grounded? And of course, oh, I can see it. This is the first time I can see um, a comment. Yay! Somebody finished their psychology paper. Congratulations. That is a wonderful thing. That's an accomplishment. Thank you for writing that. Anybody else? I'll get to see it now. Okay. Um, how are you doing with feeling more centered and grounded? Of course, doesn't that sound like being in the moment would keep you centered, right? And grounded. And there are not just breathing and meditation, which we've talked about, but also sometimes just stopping to reflect on the moment. Hmm. And I naturally take a breath then. And also adjusting one's body. We can um, see what's my body doing. <laughs> Sit up in a comfortable, straight way. What I want you to think about next week is applying mindfulness to something else. And of course, this is in my ballpark this week. I've already told you I need to work on my diet and exercise. But for next week, I want you to think about mindful eating. I'm not going to talk about it today. I want you to see what you can do with that concept. And I'll look for it um, next week. Okay, fun questions. Last week, we talked about doing one nice thing for yourself. Did you do something like that last Monday? If so, please enter it into the chat. And what if you plan for yourself for today or this week? A nice thing. And if you haven't planned anything yet, I want you to plan something right now, quickly. So, or not. <laughs> you can wait a little while. But if you could do it right now, think of one nice thing you can do for yourself later today or this week. Next fun question. Do you know what phase the moon is in today? I do not. Um, I want to think it's kind of almost gone because it was full a couple weeks ago. But I don't know. Do any of you know? And my last fun question for today, our last fun question is, if you had a personal magic wand, now this is a magic wand that would only apply to you, not the whole world, like you can't cure COVID, hunger, or poverty. If you had a personal magic wand, what's the first thing you would do with it for yourself? 
Hmm, well, you'll probably already know mine. Improve my diet and exercise. Get back to that healthier, happier way of eating and moving. Ah, somebody else said, me too. They would do the same thing, right? I think we're all, as COVID is kind of doing its thing, but maybe getting a little bit better, we're all thinking about, okay, time to get back into things. So let's use our magic wand pretend we have one and get back to a healthier, happier way of eating and exercising. I've decided that the eating thing for me, and I, I think this might be true, not just for me. It's not about the number on the scale. It's not about how I look. It's about being healthy and happy with the way that I eat. So that's what I'm going to think with my magic wand this week. I really enjoyed this today. I thank you so much. You know, I think about and plan for being with you even when we're not together. So, ah, uh, thank you. Somebody just wrote thank you and I thank you. Oh, Jocelyn Center Tip, maybe that's us. Anyway, yay us and I'll see you next Monday. Have a mindful, happy day, bye. Oh, I think, yeah, there you are. Good. <laughs> I can't hear you. You're not. Thank you so much. There you go. I was so caught up with my calming and being in the moment that I forgot. That was <laughs> Hello, come back. <laughs> no, thank you so much. And I, and, and I really enjoy uh, hearing what you have to say regarding mindfulness, because I feel like we don't live in the moment at all and it's so, it is so vitally important to kind of see what's here and now so thank you for um being here for mindful mondays because if it wasn't for you you wouldn't have mindfulness so and i thank you for the opportunity and as i've said many times the more you talk about it here the better it goes for me and the rest of my life so we'll catch up on that stuff again next monday Thank you so much. And it's wonderful seeing you all. And we look forward to seeing you next Monday. And don't forget Wednesdays is Wonderful Wednesday. <laughs> Bye.